teaching a seminar today on leg locks. So two seminars, there's a morning session, which is based around finishing the heel hook and just like dealing with common counters, like people hiding their heel and, um, and using the second leg to slow that down. If I didn't have tension on it, you probably could slip it, dragging it into my neck. I think if you try to change, that's, that's kind of a, a point where you might, might lose. Try and back heel now. See? Okay. Like that's what I'm waiting for. So what I want to do as the defender is free my knee. I'm trying to like do that. And then the second session is going to be a bit more on leg lock entries and a little bit on 50-50 and kind of going towards backside 50-50. So just like a, the second installment essentially of, of part one. But I need to block this shoulder. I think it's just, just a common mistake people make. If I go here, you see he's dropped his shoulder. He can underhook. How do I make space again? My left foot in first, because if I try and do the right foot, he might heel hook that on the way. I'd rather put my left foot, now he can't heel hook my right foot as it goes here. That's the movement I want people to get good at. Yeah, it was good. So I, I got to come in yesterday. I got to roll with Ross and a few of the guys. Um, so Ross and I, uh, we competed against each other a few years ago. It's always been a really competitive match. We had just like a nice roll, it was, but it was really good to catch up with him. I view him as like the, we're like our counterparts in England and Australia. People say we look the same as well, so. <laughs>